Welcome back to the Chess Geek channel. Today I have something a little different. I want to show you this really awesome opening tool that will change the way that you study chess openings. So instead of me just explaining to you how it works, let me show it in action by a couple of real examples. So I'm going to give some hypotheticals. Let's suppose that you play d4, and of course this would work for any opening of any variation, but let's suppose you play d4, d5, c4, and you get faced with e5 a lot, the Albin counter gambit. Now you know you're supposed to take, they push, you go knight f3, and, and you know here that the main line is knight to c6. And, you know, let's say your opponents play this a lot, you know how to continue here, but let's suppose that also some of your opponents play c5, which is quite logical, defending the pawn in the center, a pretty strong pawn forming some, you know, pawn chain, it seems relatively logical. Well, the issue in a situation like this is that it's quite difficult to search for this position. I mean, this is a side variation of an opening that's already not so popular. So searching for this on YouTube probably won't yield the results you're looking for. So how do you get videos that explain this exact position without having to search for it? Well, this is what this genius tool can do for you. So what you're gonna do is press Board Explorer. And here is where you input the moves of the variation that we're trying to learn. So in this case, again, d4, d5, c4, e5, we take, they push, and once again, we know that knight f3 is what we play, and knight to c6 is the main move, but we're trying to study c5. Now, what you should notice is that there's these videos on the right side of the screen that are constantly getting refreshed with every new move that we're inputting. And what these videos are, well, these are videos that have this exact same board setup somewhere through the video. So this website searches through 30,000 videos on YouTube and finds this exact position on those videos. And so if you want to learn why this is not the main line and what you can do to refute this, you're just going to start pressing these videos. And the beautiful thing is, this takes you directly to the point in that video where this is discussed. So for example, let's look at this second video here and see what Hanging Pawns has to say wondering why not play the move c5. Well, c5 would be a great move if it didn't allow pawn to e3. Now notice that pawn to e3 is now possible because there is no bishop b4 check. Now, of course, you would continue watching this if you were actually trying to learn this, uh, but from this quick snippet, we already see that e3 is the first move that we're trying to play to disturb this pawn center. If we watch the third video now, this time, were from Resting White's perspective. Line. Might happen if they play c4, if they play c5, sorry. You just undermine the center. They will play knight c6 to defend and to, uh, for the time being, put some pressure against the pawn on e5. You play it takes d4, c takes d4, and you block. And you can, again, continue watching this if you were to actually learn this uh, opening. But just from those two very quick snippets, you already see the clear issue with c5, which is that it allows e3 to take back control in the center, and although black is trying to create a strong center formation, that probably will not last. Now, one of the things that hopefully you notice is that the first video we looked at is from black's perspective, teaching this Albin counter gambit from black side. This second video we looked at is from white's perspective, showing how to beat it. And this is the clear thing that is missing. Even if you could find a video that is talking about this on YouTube, chances are it's either looking only from the white side or strictly from the black side. And the reason that's bad is because you're going to be missing the main plan strategies and lines that both players are going for. And it's important to have this holistic view of a position because then you're going to know how to tackle it and you're going to deep more deeply understand. It. So for a second example, what I want to show you is the Karukan, right? And again, this works for whatever opening you play. It truly doesn't matter. But let's say you play the Karukan, and you're good with the advance, you're good with the exchange, but you have some trouble with this f3 fantasy variation. So you're going to take, you know this, then you play e5. But here, the specific uh, line, which is troubling, is in this position, after bishop to c4, you go knight to d7. And here, castling, let's say you know how to play. You know, you know you go knight f6. And if they take, you go queen to b6 check. You know this variation quite well. But c3 is the move that is a little uh, troubling for you and you don't know how to deal with this and a lot of your opponents 
play it. Well, once again, when we set up the board here, we have all of these videos uh, on the right side of the screen that have this exact position. And if you were to actually study this, you would press each one and quickly watch a snippet, uh, check if the video is valuable, if it gives you something. Um, and by the end of watching all of these, you would have learned a ton about this position from both sides. Uh, for the sake of time, we're just going to look at two videos. We're going to look at the first one by Levy. I personally think the trickiest move is not to castle, but to play c3. With this idea, if black just continues developing, you have queen to b3 with a fork on f7 and b7. And just by that quick snippet, you already see the underlying idea with c3. They want to get a quick attack going. Uh, again, you would continue watching all of these uh, quick videos. Let's go to the last one because this one is now from black side. C3. So who sees white's threat here? Who sees white's threat? What if we simply play our normal... And so you would continue watching this. I'm going to skip a little now. ahead because what you're going to notice Order is that in this video white. against C3, because we're looking at black side, the person offers a move we for black. So he offers the move b5, why this is a use but then ultimately suggest bishop a5. And again, you would actually watch this thoroughly and listen to what they're saying. Uh, but, but the point is, from this video, we saw the moves that we're supposed to play. We saw some of the ideas for black. From this first video, we saw some of the ideas for white. And so once again, you get to learn this position completely from both players, uh, learning the ideas and plans and moves for either side, which is so important. So those are the two main examples I wanted to share for this uh, board uh, searching mechanism. But there's another really cool thing from this website. There's a couple of other cool things. I wanna also look at this video search because what we just did is searched uh, for a video on YouTube based on the opening moves, which is great for studying opening lines, but this website actually offers far beyond that. But what you can do with this video search um, is you can search for a video by filtering, not by opening moves. And so this is very helpful for, uh, let's say that you play, uh, again, the Caro formation. I love the Caro. Um, and let's say you want to see end games in the Caro, because you know the opening quite well because of the board explorer we just saw. The middle game structures are quite natural and you can play, but the end games you seem to have trouble with. So you filter by end game and you're going to get a ton of videos that began with the Caro opening and uh, have gone to some end game, and you can always press more results and it'll load up more videos. But this is very general still, and so you can continue filtering more and more. You can filter by the specific end game. So if you want a queen versus rook end game that appears from a caro, if you want uh, a bishop versus knight end game, you can uh, filter by some themes that exist. You know, some exchange sacrifices if you want to see. You can still filter by the specific opening. So this is the formation of the opening. We got the Karo formation, but you know, if you look here and you find the Karo um, from that you know, defense, you're going to be able to further filter by the variation. So the classical Karo, uh, you know, all of these, the Panoff attack, all of these different variations, uh, and same with the position opening. So you can continue playing around with this again. Link is in the description, but the point that you'll see uh, by playing around with this is that you can basically make a million combinations. So whatever opening and specific case you want to learn, you're going to be able to do with this tool. It's super incredible. And it's just the quickest and most efficient way uh, to learn openings and middle games and end game structures that appear from openings. So once again, the link is in the description. You can try this completely for free. Check this out, play around with it. Let me know what you think. And once you realize how valuable this website really is to your learning, then you can also decide to upgrade to the member status, which would give you as many videos as there exists, depending on the search that you did. Subscribe for more videos like this posted every other day. Like this video if you learn something new from it. And I will see all of you in the next video. Peace out.